All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We already know that. But, again, part 16 to hating on Shiro. We started episode 2, right? I'm pretty sure we did. We did. Oh, my God. I fucking... I forgot this is where you left off, bro. Listen. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Why would you even say this, bro? Like, why would you even say this, dude? Why Why would you? Uh, whatever, dude. But again, you know. Uh. But I will say again, actual serious note or topic. It's interesting that, um, or I don't want to say interesting. I, I, I will say, you know, I do find it, well, I guess kind of, yeah. You know, it's interesting how they um, kind of write it in, you know, to where Shiro also semi-blames Natsuki for the dismantlement of the club, given that she just simply wasn't able to get over her differences with Kayla, given that Kayla was going to be the next president, so that Shiro somewhat holds her accountable for the club falling apart, because... Ultimately, she never would have left for the literature club, right? You know, then the actual anime club would de have its more, you know, have sufficient number of members even without the MC. But it's also interesting that Natsuki, based on her perception of Kayla, again, you know, obviously wouldn't be kind of part of the club there. You know, it doesn't feel as though she can be a part of the club simply due to that. So I, I do kind of find it interesting that that was kind of the... I guess her introduction to the literature club, right? Given that she just felt as though she simply wasn't able to be a part of that, you know, anime club, given Kayla. Um, again, and that kind of is her segue into literature club, but that also Shiro, again, like I mentioned, somewhat holds her accountable, given that, you know, she kind of left the club in the dark, right? Also, why the fuck do you say this, though? But I do find it interesting, because, again, you know, Obviously, we know these two have history, right? They're in the same club, and ultimately, Natsuki was somehow able to convince Maka to let Shiro take sanctuary in the literature club. I mean, I still think that was a crazy thing to ask Monica. Like, ultimately, really, it just seems like, and it's crazy, because it seems like Natsuki and Charlotte don't care about anyone outside of Shiro. Like... I mean, besides being completely inconsiderate, because that's what it really is, right? Because Charlotte was completely inconsiderate to the MC's dilemma or situation, right? You know, Natsuki was completely inconsiderate to Monica's situation, right? You know, I, I feel like that's just what it comes down to. Like, they ultimately just don't care about other people. So, you know, but the, the big thing there is I, I do. But the bigger thing also being that even with that, Shiro still some somewhat holds Natsuki accountable. But also him saying this is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that this is a pretty crazy thing. Yeah, you fucked up, dude. You know? We didn't just reciprocate in the way I thought we would have. I mean, like, here's the thing. Here's what Natsuki... Because we obviously know the type of person Natsuki is. Like, there's no surprise that her ego and Kayla's wouldn't fit in the same room. But Natsuki, like, kind of needs to own up to it. Like, don't try to, like, actually, like, put the blame on Kayla... Don't try to, like, come up with some reason that, like, just say, like, listen, we, I just couldn't be in the club with her. That's what it comes down to. Like, don't, you know, try to, like, beat around the bush here. Because that's going you know, to try to pull something out of her ass as, like, a justification when in reality it's just she doesn't like Kayla. Like... Let's see. But again, you know, well, I mean, is that... But here's the thing, right? Like, this is also assuming that you're right in every single situation. Like, and again, this is just the flaw and inherent issue with Natsuki-type people. Where, like, they believe the whole world revolves around them. And it's like, alright, dude, like, that's not the case. So, and then again, Tracy was the old president, I believe, right? So... And again, you know, but... At least I will say Natsuki was man enough to leave the club like versus try to like one up Kayla, you know, given compare that to let's say Shiro, right? Cause funny enough, this situation is actually very similar to Shiro and Kai's situation back then. Right? Like you have Natsuki and Kayla who are competing for influence and Natsuki just bails out. Cause she recognized that all right, ultimately it's just going to end up with one of us taking over and the other gain her anyway. 
if that was the case with Shiro and Kai, well, t- first off, Shiro just did have to bring Shaw into it. Like, if Shiro never brought Shaw into it, it would have never been an issue. But even, like, if he saw that him and Kai were getting way too competitive, because, like, we know that Kai's whole call-out, because even before Charlotte, the reason why Kai despised Shiro was because of how arrogant he was, which we know he is. So, obviously, Shiro's personality won't allow. But if Shiro would have done this however many years ago, chances are none of this would have happened now. So, and again, ultimately, that takes out two people, right? Like, and on our, I know for as much as I dog on Natsuki and for as much as she's my least favorite, this was a really good decision on her part. If she just simply knows her ego cannot take it, like, she just leaves. Like, that's a good decision to make on her part, rather than try to blow the entire thing up. Like, wouldn't have minded it too much. It would have sucked to lose Kate. I mean, but it's also, like, granted, you know, the fact that Natsuki just simply couldn't be in the club with Kayla is pretty ridiculous. But at least given she recognized that, you know, she made the right decision in that case. So, all right, fucking fat ass, bro. Of course, she all misses the food. All right, dude, like, and also there's just weird, like, this is weird. They're taking these things way too seriously. Like, I would, for the sports teams I was on, like, it wasn't to this, like, extreme or this level to where, like, if someone, like, quit or if someone just, for whatever reason, wasn't able to participate in the season, like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't to this extent, which I found pretty ridiculous, which I guess kind of feeds into the, the, the honestly, the most ridiculous thing this mod so far has been people acting as if the MC is like obligated to say a part of the club. Like that's the most ridiculous. So visual novels, man. And again, obviously we know the Lurch club is just the de facto anime club for these two. Right. And again, you know, cause here, and this is the problem, right? And this is why, like, I just, honestly, I'm really not a fan of either Shiro, Charlotte, or you already know I'm not a fan of Natsuki. Like, they're just completely inconsiderate to, like, other people. Like, Natsuki just can't recognize that Monica's a victim of Shiro's shitty actions. Like, to, I guess, Natsuki, all it is is, oh, I'm friends with Shiro, so why not him join the club? Like, it's a complete, like, inconsideration of what happened between Shiro and Maka. And funny enough, again, it's a similar thing, too, with the MC. Because not only was Shiro, like, completely just inconsiderate of the MC in his dilemma position as a result of Shiro, right? But also Kayla and Ruby, too, because they were completely inconsiderate towards him regarding they just, you know, didn't care about or, like, couldn't even bother to understand his dilemma or situation. For them, it's just like, all right, you know, you were the body we needed. So, like, that's all you really exist as. Like. Okay, but to be fair, there's a big difference between you and Shiro, let's be honest here. Because we know Natsuki obviously fall out from the uh, anime club, but there's not, like, this is a completely different case scenario. Like, you know, but again, but this is also like a completely different case scenario. Like, and again, Natsuki just really is like being inconsiderate here. Cause like, this is a completely different case scenario than what happened and went down with Shiro, right? This is no, like, this is horrible logic. Like, this is not the case because it is a completely fucking different case scenario. Like, You storing your manga collection in here is not the equivalent of everything that went down between Shiro Manka and the entire school. Like this, that's this is like the worst logic in existence. Like who is it? Fucking oh, it's Adrian and Yuri, right? So yeah, Adrian and Yuri. Shut the fuck up, dude. I swear to God. We really have to watch an interaction between, like, my two least favorite characters. Like, really? Are we doing this right now? Like. Yeah, you know, it's. I I really don't want to, like. Like, I'm just going to start clicking through because I don't care about my smoking. 
So Natsuki still. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. It's crazy that they're like smoking cigarettes in like high school, like, like in 2024. Like that's crazy. Like not even gonna lie. Like smoking buddies is pretty fucking crazy. Like I've smoked before, but it's like very, very sparsely, and it's social like situations, like you know, special occasions, like. But like, if you're consistently smoking in high school, bro, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you're kind of fucked. Like, you know. All right, but to be fair, you know. I mean, I really don't don't fucking, dude. Are we gonna really get like a fucking you know? Bitch, fucking fat ass bro literally just started to take a nap. But I was gonna say, are we really gonna have to watch like a club meeting like with our fucking least favorite and like character and then like everyone else like Bad guy, he's like, yeah, bro, it's a Friday. Like, if your ass isn't going home, like, I don't know what you're doing. Like. The late bus? Well, freaking, if you miss the late bus, you're sleeping at school, bro. Like, sad, what kind of fucking statement is this? What the hell are you talking about? Like, you know, all right, whatever, you know. To be fair, I will say... One thing that was nice kind of about high school is I never really took the bus. I took the bus in grade school and middle school, right? <clears throat> or I guess whatever before that. Like, I took the bus all the way up until high school. But with athletics in high school, the bus times never really worked out or coordinated. So the big thing there was I my parents always uh, drove me. Granted, you know, my it, all right, there's a lot of backstory. Basically, my parents have abysmal spending habits. So if they could have just budgeted better, like, they could have definitely, you know, gotten me, like, a used car that I could have driven myself. But instead, I guess they just got up super early and stayed up super late for, like, my athletics. But I, I, either or, right? But um, completely besides the point. But again, like, if she misses the slave bus, he's fucked. Like, well, she's the one usually who's kind of, you know, uh, getting fucked up, right? Like, you know... But again, also, and again, because here's the thing, right? And again, Yuri, because obviously now she's talking with Shiro and she's talking about the rumors. But ultimately, like, it's like, let's put it this way, right? Most, like, serial killers, most, you know, people who are murderers are actually pretty charming. Like, they're not, like, creeps, you know? They're actually pretty charming and blend in well. You know, obviously, I'm not saying Shiro's a killer. But, like, let's look at Shiro's first interactions with the MC, right? Like, Shiro came across as nice and friendly, you know, and then obviously the MC learned the truth about him, right? It's I wouldn't be surprised if it's a similar case with Yuri, because obviously Shiro puts on this nice guy facade. <clears throat> but, you know, then he'll just go do creepy shit and then not accept any responsibility, right? So, I mean, who the fuck knows? Like... Let's see. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, fat ass. All right, what's going on now? So, why is the screen just... All right, I lost my cursor. Is this the end of episode two? That's actually pretty crazy. Damn, this was quick. This was really quick, especially compared to the first one. Um, But I guess for them, it's more tangible. Like, the first part was all about Charlotte. And then this was about Shiro and Kai's confrontation in the aftermath. I will say I am kind of curious because there's, there's no way Shiro's going to end up a permanent member of the club, at least not without Michael or the MC. Like, I, I think the interesting thing here is I'm, I'm curious as to what Michael's doing right now because we kind of saw him at the end of the first arc and we knew he kind of went off and did his own thing, right? We don't really know what he's up to now, so. <coughs> My bad. Still a bit sick, but. Kind of curious there, so I guess um just we'll see, right? But you know, yeah, Shiro spreads. I'm gonna need to take 
to play on Take Two at some point. I hope to God Shiro's a better like character in Take Two because like I really don't like his character. Like, and I don't know if he's genuinely meant to be like a victim, but like I just can't see him that way. From what we know, I can't view Shiro as the victim in this situation. Yuri, I still think that name slays. You, Yuri DDLC some sixty nine. Dude, that probably that guy probably self inserted Adrian. That dude's Adrian. Ah, oh. in dedicated to Sam. I still want to figure out who, because there's no way that Sam in the game is not dedicated to Sam in real life. <coughs> All right, what is this ending cutscene? Because I keep forgetting we get cutscenes after. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, get fucking you know Adrian. Yeah, Shiro, get your fast out of here, bro. So, did he leave with the rest of the club? Hey, Shiro, you got a second? All right, I'm actually very interested to see this conversation because we know Adrian doesn't... We know Adrian doesn't like Shiro, right? Kind of blatantly. Obviously, he saved Shiro, but that's just kind of because he doesn't like Kai as well. You know, so... He's like, I'm going to keep it real with you, Chief. You know... And again, like, this man's basically just saying, like, look, I know who you, like, listen, let's be real here. I feel like even with Adrian saying this, I feel like Shiro's still 100% going to try something here. I feel like that's just inevitably going to happen. If Shiro actually sticks with the club, that's just kind of an inevitability. You know, that's going to happen, right? That's just the reality of things, right, based on his character and his personality. Like, it's just going to happen, you know? Because, again, you know, at the end of the day, Adrian, we know, like, if Adrian's willing to concede that Shiro can be a part of the club, given Monica's approval, like, that's already, like, you know, for him, like, let's say a big step outside of, you know, <clears throat> that's already a big step, kind of, what's the term? Um, you know, I don't want to say outside of his comfort zone, but that that's kind of a big step, you know, away from his, like, original position if he doesn't want anything to do with it. Right, so, and I feel like because I, I know what's going to happen, the mod's going to try to portray she as the victim, and that this is an unreasonable request. But I feel like this is a very reasonable thing for Adrian. Like Adrian's being very real here, and he's also being very reasonable. Granted, you know, if Adrian wasn't like, let's say, <coughs> Jesus. If Adrian wasn't officially dating Yuri, this would be a pretty crazy request. But because he is, this is more than reasonable, especially given Shiro's reputation. Like, I feel like this is a very, you know, reasonable thing. Right? I know, and again, you know, I know you have a class with her, so Shiro isn't going to be able to hide that from Adrian. So, and again, also like, Shiro, listen, here's the problem, right? Shiro's saying, how do I earn your trust? It's the same way you gain your reputation back by not being an asshole, right? We very clearly doesn't do that in math. It's the same situation here. He needs to be able to actually like be a decent person and interact with people that way, right? So that they can actually view him as, you know, a changed and reformed, you know, character, right? So... All right, shut the fuck up. Like, this is actually, like, dude, you're really not helping your case. You just got to say, all right, got it. You know, absolutely. We're on this. Like, Shiro, like, you're not defending yourself here. Like, you just need to, like, nod your head, you know. You know, this, it's not weird. This is a perfectly reasonable request on the part of Adrian. So... Big man, big man, brother man. Oh my god. All right. So why is he acting like they're buddies now? But I was gonna say again, this is a very reasonable request on the part of Adrian. Like, I feel like granted, I feel like Shiro's still gonna find a way to break this. Like, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I still feel like he's gonna do something with Yuri, but you know. All right, and then that's the end of this um episode. I still feel like that's just all right, Jesus. I still feel like Shiro's inevitably gonna do something to Yuri. Yuri. I just feel like that's you know what it comes down to. <clears throat> See, investigator arc, episode three. So how many total episodes? Would did say five? 
hold on. Episode six to ten. So I don't know why. So three more. I don't know why. Web of lies. Web Charlotte Web. Oh my God. Yet another fucking punt. Charlotte Web. Man, I'm not reading this shit. What the fuck is this? But I've been wanting to see this man for the past two episodes. We have not. Uh, obviously, Charlotte talked with him, but now we're actually getting back into kind of Michael and what he's doing. <clears throat> hey, good job you fixed your sleep schedule, though. Damn. But also, like, I think what's cr – and again, I, I talk about this because my mom has the same problem. She'll never back me up on anything. It's like regardless of what I do, it's just wrong. Like, unironically, as a mother, you need to, like, have your son's back. Like, you know, I don't I, – unless he does something crazy or, like, illegal – you know, like, if it's a hard decision like the MC made, like, his mom really needed his back. Like, I think it's very surprising that the mod, like, it seems like the mod genuinely believes Michael made the wrong decision, despite the fact that he very clearly made the right one. But the fact that they're trying to act as if his mom had, like, and especially since she started comparing him to her father, or his father, right? Like, the fact that they tried to act as if the MC's mom had, like, any jurisdiction or, like, any, you know... Substance there is crazy. So, like, that's so fun. There's no, like, his mom's an asshole and a terrible parent. Like, I genuinely hate single parents for this reason. Like, his mom is a horrible fucking person. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you're a mom and you do this shit to your child, especially as a single parent, you're a horrible parent. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, his mom's a horrible person. Like, she's a horrible person by doing this. Like, if she were a good person, she'd have his son's back, right? Or her son's back. Like, even if she doesn't agree with the decision, that's ultimately, he's a, in high school. It's his fucking life to live at this point. Like, unless he does anything crazy or illegal, right? Because I know what's going to happen. The MC is eventually going to, um, what would you call it, um, revert on his decision. And it's going to be due to this, like, pressure and ex unironically he's getting more external pressure to revert than to keep with the decision he made like <clears throat> he got less pressure from kai than his own fucking mother which is crazy and the mod's gonna try to portray as if you know again he the, made the mistake and his mom and others are talking sense to him when in fact this just makes his mom a horrible fucking person. Like I don't know what to tell you. Like his mom's a terrible person for this. Like again, like you know, and yeah, you know, obviously Kai's not really fucking with the MC. His focus and target is on Charlotte. But like his mom, the MC's mom's unironically a horrible person for this. I don't know what to say, but like it's actually fucking crazy. So. Hey, Sam, and this is why I meant, like, the MC still has friends outside of the fucking club. Like, they, like, Shiro tried to act as if, like, you know, the MC, like, had nothing before the club. Or, like, he couldn't get anything without it. Like, the MC literally lives a normal life now. So, and again, you know, there's no fucking, hold on. Did they actually change? Stop. Shit, I don't. All right, I'm about to, I swear to God, I'm about to, I don't, I don't know if they actually genuinely changed our skin tone, but again, we know medical condition, right? So, all right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, all right, all right wait, stop, stop, stop. All right, I'm not even going to lie, that's a pretty crazy statement, on, that's, that is a crazy statement on the part of the MC, I'm not even going to lie. Obviously, you know, we don't know what he intended. But that's a pretty crazy slip. Up. Granted, the MC's handsome and he has risk. But, you know, I I'm still going to say that's a pretty crazy thing to say, right? He's like, damn, I missed you. Oh, like, Jesus. He's like, oh, I don't want to be too bored here. It's like, I miss you. He's like, damn, that's crazy. Uh, oh, my God. You know, the emergency room. And again, so in the fact that she's actually sharing this with the MC, like, shows that she's comfortable enough with him to reveal that, right? So... Not really. Yeah, he's like, 
like yeah you know like these two have really great chemistry. like and this is what i mean like it's i still think it's crazy that the mob's trying to act as if the mc made the wrong decision i feel like it was such a no-brainer decision here you know and again you know the big thing being we know again our medical condition right so And again, because the big thing being she probably could, right? Again, chances are it's worse than she lets on, you know? And it's definitely not stomach-related. It's some other condition. Unironically, maybe she has, like, cancer or something crazy. Like, I would not be surprised if it's, like, something at that level. But, you know, obviously, like, her, like, so long as she can carry it. But, you know, it's not like Natsuki where she's just stubborn as shit. Like, Sam, unironically, it's whatever medical condition she has. You know, <laughs> so yeah, you know, Mr. Leonard, bitch, Leonardo da Vinci, what the hell, you know. Hey, yeah, you know, like the MC, like he's actually, it's crazy. Like, you know, the MC is actually like a normal person. Like, cause I feel like, you know, like if this were like an act, if this were a base game MC, or if this were like a fucking cartoon or like anime, they'd be like really weird about it. But he's like actually being a genuine kind, kind like, you know, per like he's being a friend. Like, you know. Where is it? Hold on. Interesting. So now we're we're getting some Sam, we're getting some Sam Lar. Sam Lar. We don't know who our best friend is, right? They're damn freaking freaking memory. Jesus Christ, big ass fucking memory. Like you know. <clears throat> and again, but here's the thing, right? Because we don't know her best friend in the present day. She's never mentioned it before. I don't want to say her best friend's dead, but... Hmm. Definitely does raise some suspicion there, so... Pardon, what'd she say, you know? Because, again, the MC needs to think, like, all right, who is this friend that she's never mentioned? You know... And again, I think what's crazy is that Sam has more of the MC's back. It's kind of like a stranger, semi, like basically a friend. I'd say, yeah, they're friends. Like Sam has his back more as a friend than his own mom does. Like his own mom, like actively berates him for the decision he made versus where Sam like, like supports him. Like, I feel like that's crazy. Like, you know. Well, again, right? It has to deal with her old medical condition. So, hey, like, this is good on them. This is good on them. Like, but this is like, again, you know, it's like, because at the end of the day, like, people will say, like, I hate people who are like, granted, you know, if there's shit we need to talk about, like, I'm like, all right. I'm not one to beat around the bush when it comes to stuff. So, like, I'm not that big into small talk. But I'm also not a fan of people who are like, oh, I don't like small talk. Let's talk about, like, you know, fucking, like, uh, real shit and, and, like, stuff like that. It's like, all right, dude, like, you know, it, it's about, again, like, building, like, what would you call it? It's about getting to know people, right? Like, that's really what it is. Like, it's not about what you're actually saying. It's about you again like conversing with this other person you know and actually getting to know them right <clears throat> ah. but again it's also because 
per condition, right? You know. And again, because here's the thing. This singular person is probably her best friend, you know. So she's still alive. So. But also, like, and, and this brings up a really good point, because here's the thing. I talk about this, right? You know, you know, I'm, I was in high school, I was a three-sport athlete, right? So my life was basically academics and then athletics. I, I don't want to say I wasn't really friends with people on the sports teams, but, like, I didn't really have, like, I had friends outside of school, but I didn't really have friends in school. It was mostly just, again, the people I did sports with, but even then, I wasn't really involved in, like, I guess, like, the inner circle. Like, I wasn't really spending time or hanging out with them outside of fucking athletics, right? So, and I, I, I do credit, like, sports with, like, if I never did, like, sports and athletics, like, I'd 100% be, like, you're, like, that's just who I would fundamentally be. Like, I'm just more, that is what I'm more geared or oriented towards, right? But the big thing there, you know, and kind of what leads, because at the end of the day, you know, this is just kind of the unfortunate reality for us introverts. We can't rely on an extrovert to kind of come and, I guess, quote unquote, save us, right? We can't rely on people to like come to us for like this kind of stuff, right? And that's kind of what Sam's referring to, where it's like, you know, people are just like, people have their own lives and they're dealing with their own shit. Like, you can't expect people to like notice and pick up on your shit. And, like, that's just not the case. Like, <clears throat> like yeah quite the cast like the MC you know like but it's good that he's kind of cut himself off and he has you know he's like seems to be genuine friends with Sam now right so and again well it's not even like rumor mills it's, it's more so just like And again, because here now it's just all out like gang warfare between like. And again, but here's the thing. We know that that was ultimately in relation to kind Victor, right? So. In, I, I'm very curious here. I'm curious as to how much Sam knows, right? Because 100% it was Victor. Like, I feel like that's enough. It was Victor sending a message to the MC, right? But this makes it seem or imply that Sam knows it was Victor and knows that the MC has cut ties with Cop, which would, she should have zero knowledge, of, right? So, or maybe she's just no longer part, given her condition, right? So. All right, what? All right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, all right, hold on. What? And again, she's adorable, right? What it glistened on. Right, what the fuck? Like, I hate when I read texts like these because I know the characters are going to just say, like, the craziest shit immediately following, right? Like, what is the MC possibly going to say? Hey, hold on. You know, like, listen, hey, this this is good. Like, this is good. Like, he's actually being a normal fucking human. Like, this is a good, like, thing to ask and, like, say, right? <laughs> like, you know, like, actually, granted, it's probably not going to happen, not because Sam doesn't want to, but more so because of whatever she's got going on. But, like, good, like, this is a good thing to ask. Like, he, like, he's being a genuine friend and, like, decent human being here, right? So. But, oh, what, uh, what's your, uh, 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 phone, uh, no, 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 oh, dude, what, oh, my God, all right. Hey, she, she asked for his, though, like, not even, he's like, oh, be honest, I don't have a phone number, I use fax, all right, 
Hey, I, I do find that hilarious though with the follow up. But you know, it's good, right? It's good, you know, that again, because especially like now that the MC uh obviously isn't gonna spend time with Shiro, you know, he needs someone else, right? You know, and I guess Sam's kind of filling that void, right? So because dude, what is this? This this reminds me this reminds me of fucking hard gold. Well, that was me banging on my desk. That reminds me in very weird like memory. Heart gold soul silver were fucking or I guess it's gold and silver too. What was it? Lyra asked like you for your Pokedex number. What whatever. It's literally just the phone number, but just the Pokemon version. And like whatever random couple is like saying shit, and it's like I'm literally twelve. Like this is this is not like a you know. But again, you know, good good thing. Like honestly, because even uh, we know the implication here, but it's also more like you know they're pretty good friends at this point. So like them being in contact with each other is like a normal thing. Like <clears throat> Paras. So. Bro, who the fuck are these two guys? Who are these two? Like, all right, I'm not even gonna lie. They drew Sam way fucking differently in this pick than in anyone who's it. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. All right, listen. Listen, I could say something crazy right now, but I'm not going to. But what I will say is, all right, how, how should I put this? I'm not gonna lie, I'm like four beers deep, so I might say some crazy shit. How should I put this, right? They drew Sam really fucking attractive in this artwork. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, and it's not to say that was the case before, right? But, it, you know, I, I talk about the artwork being higher quality, you know. Like, we see that here, right? Like, you know, like, compare, like, this pick of Sam. Well, again, it, it's also, it has to be different artists. Like, it's definitely different artists. I just, I just wanted to point that out, you know. But again, besides, who the fuck are these dudes? Bro, this guy doesn't even have eyes. Freaking blind-ass motherfucker. <coughs> you body that pizza. That's a crazy statement. I was starving. I had it. Chances are, you know, Sam was too, right? What they were talking about, the party? What, Jack fight? 100% it's something related to Shiro. It's got to be Shiro, right? Kayla and Ruby? Those two. All right, what happened? You know... They're into witchcraft. That's they're Wiccan, right? Isn't that what they said? You really believe that? You know they dress like witches. The, to be fair, that's because the school had like zero policy and enforcement on uniform. Like it's kind of crazy. They're just like, all right, that's a crazy statement, you know. Especially nowadays. Uh, who the fuck is Tessa? What the fuck is going on, bro? Like, who the hell is Tessa, dude? They're just. Tessa Frost, you say that as if we're supposed to know this person. They keep just randomly dropping names. Caitlin's sister? Kate, who the fuck was Caitlin? They were the previous secretary. Caitlin Frost? Like, you know, who the fuck is Connor, bro? So he's like, I don't know about that one, Chief. You know, I don't, I really don't care about this conversation. Why are we listening to this? Like, why are we listening to this? How are we still listening to this conversation? Like, Jenna Kill. Like, and again, he voted for That's why I'm like, damn, for, he's like, what the hell did I just listen? Like, there's no way he listened to the conversation for that long. Like, And plenty of our guys. Well, it's all right. Listen, it's like granted, who the MC might be a good Christian boy, right? But they're just wicked. Like and they're not like they're just saying shit. Like this is like they're just making shit up at this point. Like, yeah, more gossip. Like I just immediately assume it's just rumor mill gossip. Like, all right, but also so all right. This is a good point to end it though. It's been forty. I will say I'm glad we're getting back to the MC and especially, you know, Sam too, right? Two actual good characters from this mod. You know, crazy, but... <clears throat> no, my bad. I guess we'll see in the next part kind of what's up with that and then kind of how it goes from there. But with that, I don't really have anything else to say. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.